The Canfield Fair is just days away, and this year the souvenirs are all local. Today, 27 First News reporter Keely Lover and learned about an exclusive product that will only be sold at this year's fair. It smells like uh, that bread dough as you're stretching it out and you deep fry it. It's an exclusive scent you'll only find at this year's Canfield Fair. And then you you know, give it a dusting of the old cinnamon and sugar, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of spice in there. It's the old fashioned elephant ears candle made by 1820 Candle Company in East Palestine. You'll want to get there early because I don't know if they're going to last. But the production of the candle was a collaboration between two local businesses. Youngstown Clothing Company is the official souvenir provider for this year's fair, and they reached out to 1820 owner Melissa Smith to make a product that would capture the essence of the fair. Immediately, as soon as I called Melissa, she was pumped about it. She said, I have the perfect idea, I have the perfect everything. A big part of the fair, obviously, is the, the animals and, you know, bringing your family there and the carnival rides and all of that. But um, street food and, you know, the, the fair food is a big deal there. And that's how the old-fashioned elephant ears candle was born. Poured by 1820, but designed and distributed by the Youngstown Clothing Company, who, too, will have new products and T-shirt designs featured at this year's fair. So we're going to do 10 brand new designs for the Canfield Fair. Um, the, they'll be exclusive there for the first time. Youngstown Clothing co-owner Tim Petri says he loves the collaboration of local businesses because people who come to the fair can take home a piece of the valley no matter where they came from. And it really brings people together from our small, small town to everywhere. The shirts and candles will be available at either of Youngstown Clothing's two locations at this year's fair. These are ideas that have been kind of uh, thought up and, and dreamed up here between everybody for, for quite some time. So um, it, it is about as Youngstown as it gets. In Boardman, Keeley Lover, WKBN 27 First News.